welcome back to online classroom Zekudio. In this video, we are going to look at human digestive system. Have you ever wondered where did food go after we eat them? Well, and how is food digested? That's what we are going to learn in this video. First of all, let's look at the definition of food digestion. What is digestion? Zekutio will break them down into three key points. Three very important points to help you to remember. Number one, it is the process of breaking down. Okay, we break down food that is digestion from something that is complex and large. The food that we eat is actually quite complex and it is large. Okay, so we break them down into what? That is the second point into molecules that are small, simple, and soluble. Why do we need to break them down into small, simple, and soluble molecules? Because only then will they be able to be absorbed by our body. So three points to, to uh, describe the word digestion. Okay, It's the process of breaking down the food that is complex and big and large into molecules that is small, simple and soluble. Why? So that they can be absorbed by the body. Okay, And I'm sure you can remember the definition, right? Secondly, digestion can actually be divided into two different types Physical digestion and also chemical digestion Physical digestion happens to break food from bigger piece into smaller piece okay? It's the process of breaking down food into smaller particles in the mouth That means when you take a big bite of burger and you chew them and they become smaller pieces That is physical digestion With the help of teeth tongue and saliva it also involves the process called peristalsis okay this is a new word i know okay jekutio will explain this word further when we look at esophagus in a little while all right how about chemical digestion chemical digestion involves chemical just like the name suggested it's the process of breaking down food from complex molecule to simple molecules with the help of a type of chemical called enzymes Again, this is a new word, don't worry about it if you don't know what it is because we will learn about it in a short while So let's compare physical digestion and chemical digestion Both of them actually break down food and also both of them happen in the digestive tract and for physical digestion, it happens in the mouth, whereas chemical digestion happens everywhere. It's in the mouth, in the stomach, in duodenum, and also in the intestine. For physical digestion, it does not involve enzymes because it is physical, it is not chemical. Okay? And chemical digestion involves enzymes i know there are a lot of new words here in this mind map don't worry you will understand it better as you pull through and watch this video now let's look at the structure of our digestive system we have something called the digestive tract it is like the pathway of food the minute it enters your body and it exits your body where did it go that whole path is called digestive tract it starts from your mouth continues to esophagus what is esophagus it is this tube okay it connects your mouth to your next organ which is stomach all right and then from stomach the food will proceed and prepare to enter into the small intestine but before it goes into small intestine as it exit the beginning of small intestine here is called the duodenum okay duodenum and then it enters into small intestine this one after that it will goes to large intestines the one that's bigger on the outside okay this one all right and then it will goes into rectum and finally it will exit through the anus so this whole tract is called the digestive tract. Other than all these organs in the digestive tract, 
it also involves other organs such as salivary glands okay one more time salivary glands all right the food does not go in there but they are also involved in digestion a few other organs that involve in digestion will be liver our food do not go into the liver but the liver will help in digestion okay gallbladder and also pancreas how do all of this help what happen in each organ let's look at them one by one first the food will enter our body through our mouth so what happened in our mouth digestion actually begins in the mouth number one the food is chewed by our teeth physical digestion we break them down into smaller particles and the particles of food are softened by our saliva and in our saliva there is a type of enzyme remember the word enzyme chemical digestion so enzyme in saliva is called amylase what does amylase do huh amylase will digest any form of starch in the food into maltose okay so digestion of starch already began in your mouth so what is starch starch is actually carbohydrates well Jago Teo wants you to do a very simple experiment you can try this during lunch or dinner later take a spoonful of white rice plain white rice no flavor okay no seasoning put it in your mouth and chew it for a little while at first it is tasteless but as you chew as saliva does its work the amylase start to digest starch into maltose you will start to taste that the rice is sweet why because the starch in the rice has begun to be digested into maltose maltose is a form of sugar all right secondly the food will go down to stomach through this tube this tube is called esophagus all right can you say it? esophagus all right the food that enters esophagus is no longer food it it, it no longer looks like what before you put them in your mouth so it is called bolus and how does it move down it does not just slide down there is a process called peristalsis we have seen this word a couple of times just now we've seen it and also when Jacob Dio talk about um, classes of food when we talk about fiber fiber is the class of food that stimulates peristalsis right so what is peristalsis all right take a look at this part of the food I mean this part of esophagus well there's a bolus here and how that how does this bolus move well this part of esophagus will actually contract and then this part relax and make the food go down and then when the food is already here this part will contract again and push it down as this part relax so constriction and relaxation on and off the food will be pushed down and squeezed through esophagus and that movement is called peristalsis after that the food will enter into stomach what is happening in stomach the walls of stomach will secrete proteins and hydrochloric acid all right bear in mind protease is another type of enzyme i will tell you what it does in a second let's look at hydrochloric acid first what does hydrochloric acid do number one it activates protease so that protease can go to work and it also kills bacteria that is in the food protease is an enzyme that helps to digest protein okay so in stomach it, br it breaks down protein into polypeptides and the food that is here right now it is actually in a form that is semi-liquid and it is called the chyme so protease will break down protein into polypeptides number four duodenum remember Jekutio said duodenum 
is somewhere at the beginning of small intestine. This is the first part of small intestine. So when the food exit the stomach, going into small intestine, this beginning, the small, the first part of small intestine is called duodenum. A lot of things happen here in duodenum. Let's take a look. Well, the liver. This this is the organ. The red color one. This is the liver. The liver will produce bile, and this bile is stored in gallbladder. This one, all right. So, the organ, liver, produce bile and put it inside gallbladder, and then it will go into duodenum. Okay, the bile. Will go into duodenum to emulsify fat into small droplets, so that it can be digested later. And the bowel also neutralizes the acid in the chyme. Remember, when the chyme or the food that was in stomach, there was hydrochloric acid, so it is acidic. The bowel will neutralize it. And the pancreas, which is this one, all right. The pancreas will produce pancreatic juice. So, what is in pancreatic juice? There are three different type of enzyme: amylase, protease, and lipase. We already know those two. Amylase happen in your mouth as well in saliva, and just now when the food was in stomach, it also come in contact with protease. So, protease will also be secreted, and it will also be present in duodenum. And a new member will be lipase. Let's take a look at this pancreatic juice one more time. This is pancreas. Okay, so what is in it? Number one is amylase. You still remember what what class of food does amylase digest? It will digest starch and turn it into maltose. All right. So just now when the food is in the mouth, any starch that is not digested yet. Will continue to be digested in duodenum. Okay, so right now the food is here in duodenum. In duodenum, the 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 liver will contribute the bowel through the gallbladder. Okay, and the pancreas will contribute the pancreatic juice, which is the things that we are looking at right now. All right. So first one is amylase. Second one is protease. Just now we already know protease will. Digest protein, but all the protein has been digested, and they have turned into polypeptides. So proteins will continue to to digest the protein in the form of polypeptides and turn all the polypeptides into d-peptides. And the new member of enzymes, lipase, will digest fat and turn them into. Fatty acids and glycerol. All right. Now the food is ready to go into the small intestine. It is right here, the one that is level five. Number four here, the beginning of small intestine is duodenum. Now the food, okay, is in small intestine. Number five. So the small intestine again well secretes enzymes, and this time it secretes. Maltase and protease. Okay, you already know what protease is. The new member will be maltase. What does maltase do? It will digest maltose. Just now, the the amylase has already digested starch into maltose. Now maltase will continue the job and digest maltose into glucose. Whereas protease right now will have the peptides to work at. So our protein will digest the peptides and turn them into amino acids. All right. So there's so many enzymes, so many different form of food from starch, from protein, and from fat. Don't worry. At the end of this video, Jacobio will do a summary to help you recollect. All right. Now, after small intestine. The food will move into large intestine. What happened here is undigested food, okay, will go through a process called the water reabsorption. 
So the excess water, the, the water in the food that is not digested, will be absorbed to be used in our body again. All right, and then the food that is left, and it is now known as feces, which is poop. Okay, so the feces will now enter into rectum here at number seven, and it is stored here until it is full. And what happened when it is full? The feces will excrete from the body through the anus. All right. So you go to the bathroom. That's what happened. Okay, digestive enzymes. Just now we look at different names of enzymes. What actually are enzymes? Enzymes are actually made up of protein, and they quicken the food digestion. If we do not have enzyme in our body, food digestion will take a long time. And a few enzymes that we look at in this topic is amylase, maltase, lipase, and also protease. So let's break them down or let's recollect them. So first is starch. We look at starch. The example of food will be carbohydrates, the bread. Okay. So what happened when starch enter into our body? Amylase will do the work. Amylase will turn starch into maltose. And then, where is amylase found? The salivary glands in our mouth and pancreas will secrete amylase. Pancreas, the food does not go into pancreas. Okay, I want to uh, make this clear. The food go into duodenum, but then pancreas will give pancreatic juice, which contain amylase into the duodenum to meet with the food. All right, and then maltase will turn. Maltose will continue the work of digestion and turn maltose into glucose. And where does this happen? Who give maltase? It is the small intestine that is contributing the maltase. So starch or the carbohydrates, this food, okay. After digestion, the end product is glucose. All right. All right. How about protein? Can you remember the example of food that is high in protein? We have egg, chicken, any form of meat, okay, nuts, and also milk. So protein, the enzyme that is responsible for digesting protein will be protease. All right. The protease will digest protein and turn them into polypeptides, and this happen in stomach. The stomach is the one that will contribute the proteins for this process, and then proteins will continue the job to turn polypeptides and di digest them into D peptides. And this one come from the pancreas. The proteins come from pancreas, and this happen in duodenum. Okay, the food is in duodenum, and then proteins again will continue the job and digest D peptides into amino acids. And this one happened in small intestine. That is the whole process to digest protein. All right. So the end product of protein after digestion is amino acid. How about fat? One good example is butter. So what happened is lipase. The enzyme that is responsible is called the lipase. Will digest fat. And digest them into fatty acid and glycerol, and this happen in duodenum. And the the uh, pancreas is the one that contribute lipase. And the end product for fat is fatty acid and glycerol. All right. So that's all from Jacob Dio in this video, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.